Good morning, guys. Dr. Liz here, where life becomes better living. Just checking in. Today's topic, fertility. Let's talk about fertility. I get so many people coming into the clinic. And, oh, by the way, be sure to like the page and subscribe. We have lots of health and wellness tips for all ages, um, sizes, and shapes. So we have a lot of people coming in, they want to have a baby and they're having difficulty getting pregnant. So they say, ask Dr. Liz, can you please give me some advice on what you'd recommend us to become pregnant? So I always tell them, yes, I can. So one of the best ways to become pregnant is to go through the use of traditional Chinese medicine and acupuncture. Works amazing in so many cases, it really does. And the data shows it. So, um, it's often fast and often very effective. So really, how does it work? How does it work with fertility and acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine? Well, I'll let you know some of the things. It's incredibly effective um, with acupuncture alone, works for fertility success in many cases. Whether the woman is experiencing irregular menstruation or the gentleman has a lower than optimal sperm count, Either way, um, we can actually produce sperm count over 1 million, oftentimes in just one acupuncture treatment, increase the sperm count by 1 million, and the female, oftentimes we can fairly quickly regulate the menstruation, which is essential to, in order to get pregnant in most cases. Incredible, and so how many visits, people ask me, how many visits are required with acupuncture or a doctor of acupuncture to come and get results and get pregnant? So we can never give any false promises, but typically we normally get results for pregnancy in less than six months. So sometimes a lot more quickly than that, but that's a pretty fair general statement depending on what's going on. So happy, healthy family is always a good thing. Now, what happens if I have uh, PCOS, polycystic ovarian disease? Or what happens if I have endometriosis or fibroid tumors? How can acupuncture help that? Well, I'll tell you, we have excellent success in many cases it's uh, best, you know, obviously for you, the individual, to come in to your local acupuncturist and get evaluated. But in many cases, it can improve the condition, if not, you know, help you to conceive baby. Sometimes surgical procedures are needed, but oftentimes the acupuncture can do the trick. How about that? Now, what about in vitro fertilization, the IVF that so many people are just um, going to these days? So some of our patients will use both modalities, the IVF or in vitro fertilization and acupuncture. So most of us are trained uh, very optimally how to use it together, but oftentimes people don't even need the IVF, depending on their circumstance, of course. So again, they need to be evaluated. Um, so that's just a good thing to know because it does increase when you're doing both the odds for success um, if it is needed to do the IVF. So often we'll get the results that our clients are looking for in just half the time at half the price. So people say, hey, Dr. Liz, that's incredible. Do you recommend any specific types of foods to increase fertility? And um, yes, I sure can often recommend, and my book just came out of 36 Foods for Long Life, and there's a list of foods in there to optimize fertility, but I know that um, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, along with red organic grass-fed beef is good because it keeps your red blood cells strong. The other thing you can do is asparagus, great for pregnancy also helps prevent anemia or improves the health of your red blood cells and hemoglobin. Really important when we're making a baby. Mm -hmm. So how about um, why the red meat, people say? And the reason is, is the red meat, uh, specifically beef, is very rich in iron. And so again, it does help 
women increase the, bl the red blood cells and the hemoglobin so that they're not anemic, so that they're not blood deficient and they feel stronger. And when you feel stronger and you are stronger, you can help make a healthier baby in a lot of cases. So are there any other foods you recommend for a healthy pregnancy? My clients ask. And I also encourage women to eat figs. Dates are good, they're sweet, delicious, they calm our stress and anxiety, and they're also really good for your blood. Berries, particularly strawberries, beans, and sweet potatoes, and seaweed is also good for fertility before and during. So people say, is there something you should avoid during pregnancy once I get pregnancy or if I'm trying to get pregnancy? And I tell them, yes, it's best to stay away from alcohol and sugar. So anyway, that's it from Dr. Liz today. Please be sure to like our page, subscribe to our channel. Today's topic was fertility. I hope that's helpful. Welcome your comments down below and Happy pregnancy.